Well, top of the morning to you, my lady. Good morning. Happy Happy Thursday, Friday. Thursday. No, it's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Cooking cooking? us up some breakfast, and I ate some sausage and some guacamole, avocado, cheese, and cheese. (laughs) It's probably one of our favorite dishes, I think. It is. Hey guys, what are you guys doing? You ain't getting none. Yeah, my sausage just got done. It's, uh, yeah, we're still in Lodi. Did you already say that? I don't know. No, not yet. <laughs> we're trying to debate if we want to head south or stay here. Oh, I don't know. We got a, the like primo spot for the dogs right out here in the one of the end spots by the grass. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I don't know, what are we doing? I don't know yet. What you guys doing back here? They said they want some of this breakfast I'm cooking. That's what they're doing. Hey, mister, you gonna make a phone call? You borrowing mommy's phone to check out <laughs> check out your Instagram? Yeah, check out the gram. <laughs> see, if, see if any ladies have messaged you lately. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, need, I need to make them their own uh, Instagram account. Yeah. Uh, I've been meaning to do that. I just hadn't gotten to it. So it looks ready. Almost, I just gotta add the Tejas Tejas salsa. This is like our favorite salsa. Yes, that stuff is amazing. It's so good. Yeah, we are, it's hard to find though unless you're in Texas or Sometimes southern in states. The south, in southern the south. states yeah. have it. Yeah. Yeah, in the south. So we are gonna have some breakfast, and I don't know what we're gonna do after that. I don't either. <laughs> I still wanna, cause okay. Oh yeah, the fan. So we changed this fan out for one that has a rain cover on it. And if you can see, it has two arms up there. So those double arms on each side makes for stronger uh, keeping it sealed or open when you're driving down the road. Now in the bathroom, let's go up. Now it's only got one arm right there and not on the other side. So it tends to make it flap when you're driving down the highway a little bit more. Oops, sorry. Oh, let me get out of the bathroom. <laughs> Even though we have a lot more room, sometimes we still get in each other's yeah, way here. like, get out of my way, woman. Mm. <laughs> I'm drinking my, uh, my, oh, I thought this was a matcha one. These are good, I like these green teas. Yeah. Really good. So one of the problems we were having when we were on this California, uh, driving out to California was uh, going across 40. It was it was windy at some times and it was it kept flapping that open. And we've noticed a couple of times that there's been water in the bathroom. And we're like, where is this water coming from? Why is there water? And I think uh, it's coming in through through up there. So we hopefully are gonna change it out because we have the fan. Yeah, we ordered it when we were home waiting to get running again. But, and it's in the back, so I just need to, we need to find some more uh, self-leveling. The Dicor. The Dicor self-leveling adhesive caulking. (laughs) We had a tube of it that we bought for the fan, but he used that when he redid the, sealed the solar panel. Sealed the solar panel, so. we need to find another. Yeah tube and there's no camping worlds around here there is an rv park right here i called them they have a store but they don't have that so we may head south just for that so we can stop somewhere and pick that up yeah that's a good tip if you're ever doing anything a lot of rvers know this but even with these trucks and sleepers if you're mounting anything on the roof use a self-leveling caulk. I'll put a picture here of what it looks like, but use that if you're doing any kind of caulking on the roof of your sleeper, your cab or your truck, even RV. Well, it, it's a yearly maintenance thing yeah. too. You wanna get up there and check your caulking to make sure it's not dried and cracking or yeah. s- stuff like that. And it's something we, we'll do every year. You know, we'll climb up there, get the ladder out, climb up, check it. If it needs to add more, I'll clean off the those existing stuff, caulk right over it, mm-hmm. so. Yeah, the good thing with that stuff is, just as it says, it's self-leveling. So like the regular kind, it'll just, if you put a bead, it just stays like this. This will actually level out. Level even. out and fill in the gaps yeah. and cracks and holes and stuff, so. Yeah. All right, breakfast is ready. I'm getting my grub on. Y'all ain't getting none. No. no please, Daddy, please, no. we want some. No, 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 I love you. Look at that cute face.
Look at those big old showers. Oh, there is. Those showers are nice. They're, the they're pretty big, big yeah. <coughs> Not bad. Kind of dirty. <laughs> like, look at the. Better than a TA. You know that soap film calcium buildup. Time to get our shower on. Say Sunday? Uh, did I? No, I think I was <laughs> oh. gonna say Saturday. <laughs> well, guess what we're doing? Another truck wash. <laughs> Getting the truck washed again. Yeah. She's not as dirty as she was last week, but no. she's still dirty. And we never went back to the the Blue Beacon that we wanted to uh, well, to it have was them. Raining. Yeah, when we were yeah, gonna go, yeah, but. so we don't need as much this time. I'm not gonna do the engine wash or none of that stuff. So should be good. Yeah. Get it. Get a tidy upper yep. wash. And then we decided we're going to start heading south. We are heading south. I don't know. We'll probably get to what? At least Wheeler Ridge. We're going to head to Wheeler Ridge. A uh, nice area right there. They got Chipotle. I want Chipotle oh, for dinner. Oh, they do have Chipotle. That's right. Yeah, we'll get Chipotle. I might, I might concede on the Chipotle this time. <laughs> it is a beautiful day here. We stopped over at the Flying J, dumped the pot, topped the water off. Man, the one thing that I will say I'm not She's, liking with filling the water in this sleeper. It's just different. It's different. I mean, yeah, it's different. Not that I don't like it. What I don't like is I can't see the water level in the tanks like I could with the last truck. Yeah. So you basically are just filling it up until it starts coming out the overflow. And uh, yeah, I don't know. She, well, okay. You top the water off until the overflow comes out. You shut the water <laughs> off. You let the little bit of water trickle out and you're good to go. Maybe you might have to plug it up with your finger, but uh, I think next time we're going to leave the water sink open. Not the pump on, but just leave the water, the cold water open and... To let the air out. To let the air, yeah, kind of, because it builds up pressure as you're filling up water in there. That air in there is getting pressurized a little bit and yeah. if you go too far, then it becomes like a siphon, I think. And I don't like know. siphoned all my water out probably. It wasn't I, But I don't know because I can't see the water level in Yeah, the we can't see the tanks. Like in the M2, we could see the, the tank inside that compartment. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I wish there was something to tell us the water level. Like in our RV, we have <laughs> a sensor or a monitor where you can push it or it shows you what your no, water level uh, is. No, RV is the same way. If you're filling up the portable water, yeah, you but wait until it... Yeah, it has a sensor to show you True, but the then level. you don't get it fully topped off. Yeah. Eh, we'll figure it out. We're still learning all We're this, still the, learning the, the everything. Stuff. Yeah, it's just yeah. like Jay said, it's just different. It's all different it's from just, the M2 that yeah. we're used to. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. Maybe we're just learning out the, the tricks and things, what we got to do. We've had quite a few friends call us about the the power issue we we're having going up hills yes, thank you for everybody to yeah do that. she still thinks there's an issue i i know there's not um with the problem we were having was when we were driving we we feel our last fuel up was in we're pulling up let's pull up uh, all right 
going to blow up. So, so what was, wait, wait, let me finish my, yeah, yeah. let me finish my story. <laughs> All right, so we have filled up in Tennessee and they don't treat their fuel down there. And then we got, we got up into West Virginia where temperatures were freezing temperatures. Got into a little bit of snow and stuff, but the temperatures were like 20s, low 20s. So it, uh, I think the fuel was just starting to gel. So it was clogging up the filter, starting to. If I would have continued to run like that, it probably would have put us on the side of the road. But I had, I was like, well, you know, I got to thinking about it and I put some house in it. He put the house in. I put the house in, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, we had parked at a rest area, napped, and then we got back on the road. And shortly up the road, it was running great again, you know, no problem. So I'm pretty confident. It, com confident. It was uh, the gel was the fuel was starting to gel yeah. because and I've talked about this before and I should have known better. Anytime you fuel in the south and then you're heading north to freezing temperatures, the south don't treat their fuel unless they're going to be having a, a freezing temperatures, then they'll go ahead and treat it. But up north, they're always treating it because they, they're having freezing temperatures all the time. So anytime you go up, if you're coming from the south to the north, treat your fuel. I just spaced it <laughs> yeah so yeah so that's what we think the problem was because it's running that, great yeah i, I mean, love it I coming love out west running. it did a lot better of course we didn't have the we came to 40 so there wasn't as much grades as was on that 68 we were on in west virginia yeah so yeah we'll see we'll see and and a lot of people too did say you know it's kind of needs to break in kind of you know like any new vehicle you got to break the engine in yeah and like, get it yeah a lot of people have been asking what our fuel mileage has been and it's not great right now because yeah. it's a new engine it, yeah, she needs to be in. broken in and it could be upwards of fifty thousand miles before we start seeing some really the best it will get you know but uh our our best fuel up has been 10.1 and that's been running about 65, 67. So yeah. um, we don't have a lot of miles on it to be able to really get a good, accurate uh, fuel mileage reading. It's it's going to come over time, but yeah. um, and especially our generator runs off the tanks as well. True. So we're running the generator a lot in between loads when we're sitting to either for heating, air conditioning, charge the batteries, cooking, cooking yeah. stuff like yeah. that. So that uses a fuel and of course that reduces our our uh, average up oh, guys coming. coming. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going, ma'am? Good, good. Gonna get a truck wash, uh, no acid on the rims or the fuel tanks, right. and we'll do the citrus shine and then rain X right. and you do undercarriage? Okay. Yep, 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 I know. And we'll what about tire shine? We'll do that here too. We'll do that. Alright. Cool. Thank you. Get my tire shiny. Get get it get it looking all nice and fancy. <laughs> Gotta keep her looking like a new truck for I a little know. bit. I, I know, I was telling Jason that I don't care if we get it washed every week. I want her to looking pretty. I am not spending eighty dollars a week. <laughs> It won't need once the once the weather starts getting better, it yeah, won't need yeah. it as often. Yeah. But and like I said, it's not as bad as it was last week. I always say truck it's... washes are uh, just a truck maintenance to me. It is maintenance. Yeah. That's all it is to me. Sure, it's great. It looks clean and shiny afterwards, but it don't last long. It really don't. It doesn't. You got to do it so often, and it's yeah. so pricey. But yeah. it's got to be done. Got to be done. And you want your truck looking nice when you go to to shippers and receivers. You, you do. Know? You, you don't do. Want but it looking nasty. You know. I mean, it, it, it is what it is. You know, the trucks <laughs> we get dirty out here, yeah, and yeah. when we do have a clean truck, it's nice, but it don't last long. Yeah. Yeah. So we are gonna get this done and head south. Let's get to Wheeler Ridge. How far away from Wheeler Ridge? Like, uh, like 269. Yeah, not so bad. So maybe about four, five, six hours. Yeah. Five, six hours. Not bad. We'll yeah. get there later this afternoon and get you your Chipotle. Yes. <laughs> and we'll probably what, just stay there until Monday. Yeah, we'll probably see. We got some friends coming out from, uh, they got a load picked up yesterday in Boston. 
and they're delivering not too far from there. He's actually gonna be buying one of my old drones that I bought and hardly ever use. So he's been wanting a drone forever. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, it'll be nice to see them. We haven't seen them in a while. Yeah. I, I, the last time we seen him was at the expo last year. And they got a Christmas present for us. Oh yeah. We haven't got yet. Hey. They've been holding it on the truck for us. <laughs> they're actually uh, having a new truck built right now too. They just finish their sleeper and it's heading to get the box it's, and stuff it's over on. a capital city yeah, they hopefully talk... they don't have to wait as long as we did yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. but they do reefer for fedex yeah so. custom critical yeah i know they're and... excited about getting that it's, yeah. it's a beautiful truck it We've, is seen it is some pictures i like it, of it I like but... not as big as ours but no but it's still beautiful it's, it's pretty truck it's an ari sleeper yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. all so, right all right well, let's we'll go catch you guys later then Sunday. Happy Sunday, fun day from Wheeler Ridge, California. <laughs> nice jingle. <laughs> Let's start making jingles for every vlog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, What's up, guys? Well, howdy. we made it down to Wheeler Ridge. We did. Obviously. Yeah. We just said that. Yeah. We got some stuff done. We got our logos changed out on the truck. Yeah. Oh my God. Yesterday. It looks so good. It looks so good. Yeah. It, it took us a while because we kept, we, we put it on and then we realized uh, part of it was crooked. <laughs> so we had to remake it and then take it off and put it back on. And then lastly, this morning, uh, we finished off one of the lines because the line was crooked. And yes. It, Th that was actually like over a week process to yeah, yeah. get it the exact sizing that it needed to be the straightness yeah, the, yeah. yeah just laying it out on the, the computer and then cutting the vinyl I think I did I don't know how many test runs of printing it oh gosh we, we wasted so much vinyl yeah before we printed it on the actual vinyl we were going to put on the truck yeah and, yeah. But yeah i think it looks really really good and then i made um some stickers for the in emergency check sleeper which yeah i love those those look, good, look too. good i had got the idea if y'all follow us on instagram at the crafty trekker if you're not following us i don't know <laughs> what you're doing but i had um stopped at a rest area one time and i got this idea somebody had it on their truck so i thought it was really cool i made those and we met up with some friends here yeah they got a rental car and they took us around went and had lunch we got some die core self-leveling so we can change that fan out today today hopefully. if not today tomorrow but definitely tomorrow yeah man really cool seeing them they drive for fedex it was funny we just parked in the same parking lot and it's funny how you run across friends out here i know sometimes like when you're least expecting it you're like you look over the across the across the parking lot and you see <laughs> hey we know you hey, we know them yeah and we have some other friends that drive our fedex that are delivering out here this morning and they're gonna be heading up here yeah they're coming over here too or tomorrow or tomorrow tomorrow yeah, monday, Sorry, yeah. i'm thinking yeah. it's monday already it's sunday, sunday. yeah they'll be here tomorrow delivering tomorrow and yeah if, unless we get a load i haven't got anything yet yeah <laughs> probably gonna be tuesday or wednesday before we get something it might be yeah, yeah. we got a bunch of calls in and we'll yeah. see we'll, we'll see. see see what happens but yeah we wanted to jump on and end this vlog here pick up the next one see where we go this next week hopefully a good one out of california hopefully <laughs> thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing and until our next video peace love and expediting